On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, more fun with hot folders. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk all about uh, all sorts of different software that you use in the church, but primarily ProPresenter 5. I admit it, I'm a big fan. So let's, uh, first off, let me say, my name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions. In fact, I just got one right before I started recording. Someone was uh, asking if I do one-on-one -on -one consulting, and I do. So if that interests you, just hit me up, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Leave a comment below the video where I can get in touch with you, that sort of thing, and we'll go from there. So last week we talked all about how to add hot folders. But there's a couple of things that I didn't add in that I thought, um, I ought to mention those. So let's head on over to my computer and we'll take a look. Here we are in ProPresenter 5 and you'll notice I have a hot folder. It's a different one than I had last time, but it's, uh, it's cool. It will suffice for what we're doing. Now when you bring in videos, uh, these are actually several of these screencast videos. I just brought in the entire folder so you can see some of the different things that I've done here, you'll notice that they all have the background icon on them. Well, that's fine if you wanted to bring in backgrounds, but what if this folder is actually a folder full of foreground videos? Uh-oh, how do you get past that? Well, let me show you. What you would do is you would right-click on the button and select set to foreground. You'll notice that the icon, which looks like a little slate with a, a little play symbol there, is available and the background is available as well on this one. So it automatically not only sets it to a background or a foreground video, it also sets it to stop, whereas a background video you normally want to loop. So Let's try that again, but I want to try just a little variation on the theme. And like a lot of times, I kind of come up with these ideas on the fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to command click on the first one and then command shift click on this so that I get all of these. I would bet that if I right click on this and click set to foreground, it's going to do it. Yep on all of them. So if, like me, you have a big folder full of media and they're all set as backgrounds, here let me set that one as a foreground because what I want to do is I want to command click on the first one then scroll up, well on the last one then command shift click on the others, right click, um, actually and click on the first one, command shift click. Now make sure that you won't run into this problem because you won't have monkeyed around with this, but you can right click on any that are currently a background and click set to foreground. And that should set all of them to a foreground. So we can really quickly just scroll through these just to make sure that it did it and it looks like it did. So that's how to do that. But you might be thinking, well, you know, that's all fine and good, Paul, but what if this is a weekly folder? So what if I've just set this as a hot folder and this is my folder for this weekend and I just want it there because someone else is working on videos and maybe he's uh, tweaking them, maybe the things could change at any moment. That's at least the way it is at my church. I don't know if it's that way at your church. No problem. So 
at the end of the weekend, if you want to get rid of this folder, it's really pretty easy to do. You just right click here and there's a choice delete. And bam, it goes away. That's, by the way, the same way that I would get rid of backgrounds or foregrounds. So what you can do is you can, in effect, have a different folder for foregrounds, a different hot folder for foregrounds, and a different hot folder for backgrounds. So you click down here, new hot folder, and let's go to where I've got my videos stored. So I can go to my screencasts and Pro 5 and that by default when this gets done bringing that in those will all be backgrounds as we can see and they're all set to loop that's what I would expect and now if I right click add new hot folder and let's say that I wanted to go to think I have this yeah so I wanted to add in my abstract backgrounds that I've created so I can click OK and that should be bringing those in and they're set to a background so these are foreground videos command click scroll down to the end Command shift click. Let's make sure that it got all of them. Yeah, it did. Right click on any of them, set to foreground, and I'm done. So I've got a foreground, um, and I could actually change this to foreground vids and set this one to background. And so then I don't even have to stick with the name of the original folder. So I can change it so that it makes more sense. So I hope that's just a couple little tweaks that will help you with hot folders. So I hope that helped you. I hope that that was something that made it easier for your file organization and something that will help you as you're in your church and uh, dealing with just all the media that you can have so that you you don't constantly have this huge mass of media that you're not using anymore. If you like this content don't hesitate to subscribe to my email newsletter which you can do for free and I'll even throw in another gift because I'm just that kind of guy. Actually I just like giving stuff away to tell you the truth. So head on over to Trinity like the Holy Trinity, digitalmedia.com slash gifts. Trinity Digital, ones and zeros, media, not small, not large, media, no, media.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. Select the gift you want, give me a good email address to send it to you, and I'll also throw you on my free email newsletter where I send out fun stuff every week. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.